I really must remember before I start a video to delete the previous footage because I've now got to start again. So, hello! <laughs> um, so I've got to go over again what I've just said to uh, absolutely nothing because <laughs> it wasn't recording. Um, it's been another sweltering day. Uh, it's hard to find him, I don't know where he is. He's disappeared. I thought he'd have been on the bed in front of the fan, but nope. Anyway. Um, I've been busy outside playing around with some bikes. Well, what I've done, I've completely taken apart the red one, because I wired some bits and bobs off of that, didn't I? And, uh, I need to get some forks for it, so easy storage. I just took it. Where did he just come from? He must have been under the bed or something. Anyway, that's all stripped down to its frame, apart from the crank. And uh, that's now tucked up down the back of the bikes I've got in there out of the way. Um. When I went to Mum's yesterday, I came back with two road bikes, one of which was given to me a few weeks or so ago uh, from Biggles. Frame is shit. No name on it. It's just an unnamed bike. And the frame is just absolute shit. Um, so that's been stripped down for parts. I'm going to use the parts from that to fix up the other one I got from him. He came back from the dump yesterday with um, a Sun Solo, and all he wanted was the brake levers and the brake calipers. So I took them off for him, because I knew I already had a pair, so, or had a full set, so that don't bother me. Uh, so I've taken that road bike apart as well, because um, I want to give the frame a good old clean. I want to try and replace the crank. I've got a nice one on a frame at Mum's, if I can get it off. And if I can get this one off. If not, I might just say, fuck it, and leave, leave it on there. And paint it or something, I don't know. Get some silver paint and just scrub it down as best I can to get the rust off and paint it out. Um, I've actually got to take the silver paint, so I could do that. I don't know what I want to stay in here, don't I, for a minute. Uh, I want to break up the yellow bike out front as well, so I want to do four today. Oh, it's just so hot. After about an hour, I just couldn't hack it out there anymore. Me and the heat don't mix. Which is the problem, because all the events and things that I, I love to go to, even though I haven't actually been to a car boot yet this year, but you know what I mean, they're all in the nice, lovely summer and hot weather. But one of my problems is... I've got a sweating problem. I seem to sweat more than others. <laughs> um, yeah, I could be standing in a shop at the queue and the water will just be running down me and I you know, I have nothing on me to wipe it. Uh, so that is not only annoying, it's embarrassing. Um, not so much my armpits, they don't seem to sweat, it's just this bit. My head. I'm actually tempted to go and get my hair clippers and to shave this completely back. Anyway, moving on. I also got that from Biggles yesterday. It's just a tin of uh, vintage Lego. Just old windows. They let me have it for a fiver, so... And that's slang for five pounds for those that don't know or have forgotten. Uh, and I also got a vintage electronics kit. I've still got to pay him a fiver for that. I've got to pay him a fiver that I still owe him. The only problem is I can't remember what I bought off of him for that fiver. Um, I know I owe him the fiver. But I keep looking around trying to refresh my memory to try and remember what it was I bought off of him for five pounds. <laughs> anyway. Here's the vintage electronics kit. Probably 70s, looking at that. There is no um, 
I might actually Google it. Metoy Science Adventure Electronics Kit. Electronics Kit. Twelve circuits can be built. You get these that you can actually screw and fix together somehow. I'm not sure how. You've got that bit of card as well. I don't know if that goes over one of those. You can make like a little frame up. There's a couple of feet there and whatnot. It does look complete. You can tell it's old looking at these capacitors. They don't look like that nowadays. I'm not sure if I'd actually trust that they would still work, but they look in bloody good condition, but I don't know. A couple of transistors. I think that's a variable resistor thing here. Um, push that switch, your ceramic earpiece, all the spring terminals, etc. Lamp holder, a couple of lamps, resistors, battery pack, light sensor. Just no instruction manual with it, which is a shame, really, but still a nice little kit. That only cost me two pounds, so. Whew. Doesn't feel as warm in here as it was last night, though. Um, but the temperatures are meant to drop. They've been hitting 30s for the last couple of days. Centigrade. Right, I've got a bottle of water on there. Squirty bowl. It's an old um, antibacterial spray. There's literally like so little in the bottom that wasn't even spraying. So uh, I took what little was out and just gave the bottle a good rinse. So if I sit here and I get too hot, I can just spray. I'm giving a torso a bit of a squirt, and that mixed with the fan actually feels rather cool. So, it's the first time this summer I've actually had to do that. <laughs> right, uh, all this stuff I rescued from um, the bin, I have been sorting that out slowly as well. Some of it I've put back in the bin because I changed my mind. But I will keep the brake and clutch fluid. I will keep the coolant. And I will keep the oils and the varnish and the nail polish remover and the bottle of white spirit and the primer. That's actually going to come in useful. I could use that on my um, forks that I need to paint. I'm just hoping the um, handlebar stem will come out of that yellow one. Came out the red one fine. What I'm going to do when I go over Sunday, I'll take the red forks with me from the Red Universal and I'll put them in the bench vise in the workshop and I'll see if I can uh, bend them because it's actually bent on the steerer tube, not the forks themselves, which explains why the steering was a bit. You get to a certain point and it would stick sometimes, so uh, yeah. So I'm going to give it a go. If I can't straighten them, then it doesn't matter really, does it? I might as well give it a go. Technically, they're already fucked, so if I fuck it some more, who cares? <laughs> That's what Ave on YouTube always says, you know. He's always said uh, in his videos, you might as well give it, give fixing it a go. Because if it's already fucked, you're not going to really make much difference, are you? <laughs> Wonder, but wonderful. I'm actually getting some cool air off the fan tonight as well, so I know it's not as warm as it was last night. All I got yesterday was hot air. Right. It's payday tonight, or tomorrow. So, let's see if I can get some paint get that yellow mountain bike taken apart right down to the frame and I'll take that over to Mum's Sunday and I'll get it sprayed up and if it's a nice hot day like it has been put the, do the frame in the back garden or something in the sun it's going to dry pretty quick and the primer dries the quickest so 
may have to get a can of lacquer. Because I actually find um, lacquer in your paintwork. Well, it seems to make the paintwork a bit tougher. I did it on my first bikes, and I found that the, um, despite several coats, it's still chipped. But I find with a nice little coat, a couple of coats of lacquer, it seems to give the paint job a bit more um, durability. Plus, we'll see if these cheap paints are actually any good. <laughs> One of them has actually fallen down the back of my computer desk there. I'm not to accidentally. That doesn't matter, I'll pull it out if I need it. I'm not sure if I need it, I'll pull it out if I need it. That sounded so wrong, didn't it? I'll grab it if I need it, that still sounded wrong. Either that or I've got a dirty mind tonight, I'm not sure. I could have a dirty mind. I'm just a bit out of it because I'm tired. In this heat, I don't sleep very well. Even with two fans going, I still find it difficult to sleep. Do with air conditioning. Well, that's something I can't afford, so I've got to have the poor man's air conditioning for fan. <laughs> right. There's something else I want to say as well. Oh yeah, I fixed that orange lamp I got as well, it's over there on the table. Um, the only thing I could use to connect in a new lead was um, a couple of terminals, terminal blocks, you know, with the two little screws in, insulation around it. I haven't got one at hand to show you. That's what I used, and uh, it works and it's safe to use. So I made sure I reused all the necessary cord grips in there and whatnot. It's not very bright because there's only a 20 watt lamp, but 20 watt halogen lamp. What if I do LED bulbs like that? Because that would be handy because it's a twi It's got a big transformer in that base. Um, which takes the current or the voltage down to 12 volt. I suppose it has to because the telescopic um, arms on that thing to raise and lower the lamp are um, actually conductors. They've got the live and neutral screwed directly to the end of them. I'm so glad it is 12 volt and not 240 volt because that would hurt. Well, here's what I want to say. It doesn't matter what the weather is doing, people fucking moan about it. The weather's been beautiful all week so far, and all I'm seeing on Facebook is, it's too hot. I want it to cool down, it's too hot. <laughs> but the thing is, if it was pissing it down with rain, people would be moaning because it's fucking raining. I, can't, I need to get outside the camp because it's fucking raining. Or fucking rain, go away, you know, just sort of things like that. You can't win. It doesn't matter what the weather's doing, some people are just moaning about it. And that's actually one thing I haven't done yet this year, is moan about the heat. Which is weird, because I hate the heat. I'd rather be in a supermarket sat in one of their chillers, to be honest. What is mum would phone tonight? So it seems like she's been upgraded from cleaner to part-time carer. And then from that to part-time senior. <laughs> she's uh, doing training for at the moment. Um, reason being is because the boss, the actual boss that owns the care home, um, has obviously been watching Mum, and uh, says Mum is really good with the residents. So uh, that's why she wants to get Mum up there and being, you know, in her senior position. Just like my sister, that's what she is, she's a senior carer. You 
know what? I'm proud of the both of them. Because they've actually done a lot more with their lives than I have. <laughs> Mind you, if I'd found out about my autism a hell of a lot sooner than I probably would have by now, because I'd have actually got the help that I really needed back then. Instead of always struggling, because I was always sort of, well, to me, thrown in the deep end. You know, with no help, no support or anything like that. But at least, uh, at least now, I can work around it. I don't know why I did that. Is that the symbol for, you know, cuckoo crazy sort of thing? <laughs> Should have gone work around it, that would have been a better one. Still got that battery charger to check. Might need to trim the beard as well. But I like it this long. But I'm just not getting on with the beard trimmer. <laughs> not getting on with that and the combs. Right. So, aside from doing my rounds around town tomorrow, I hope, the junk shops, uh, I say shops, because they've now got two shops, in the same shop and precinct, um, they're sort of spread across two shops. Um, where else? Black Records. Charity shops, the market, I could have a look around there. See if that stall is there that sells everything out of pounds, see what I can get off of there. Uh, da -da -da -da, what else? Oh yeah, see if I can find some paints. A nice colour to do that bike with that isn't black. I've always had that problem, you know. Well, it's not a problem, it's just a habit. Hmm, I'm going to respray this bike. What colour shall I do it? Oh no, black. <laughs> oh, I did do a maroon coloured one once. Sort of maroon burgundy colour. That came out quite nice. But, uh, that was a road bike. And that one was too small. <laughs> I didn't feel comfortable riding it. It's been so hard for me to find one where I'm 100% comfortable riding it. Because they've either been too big or too small, not being, you know, a happy medium. Which is annoying. <laughs> but uh, this Sun Solo does look a decent size for me, so. And it's in my favourite colour. Well, sort of like a grey colour, not a black colour. I think it was black originally. Um, I was going to take a photo of it before I took it apart, but I'd forgotten to took it apart first. And packed it all in the shed, and then realised I hadn't taken a photo of it. <laughs> um, I put the rally winner up for sale, but not one reply yet, which is weird. I thought there would have been. If it doesn't get any buyers by the weekend, then I'll take it down and I'll keep it. Fine by me. I was just going to sell it because uh, I didn't need it. I don't need it now. Well, won't need it because I'll have the Sun Solo. I hope. Uh, I'm hoping Wilco. I'm sure the last time I went into Wilco's they had handlebar tape for road bikes in there. I can't remember what the price was. If it's not a bad price, and I'll get it from there. So I'll just save getting it on eBay and paying the postage on top. He's been in such a lovely mood tonight. Washed his dish out. Food dish. And fed him. As quick as I pour a nice ice cold drink from the fridge, it heats up in this heat. Doesn't stay cold very long. Still got to take my evening pill. It's 
10.40 and I still haven't done that. Mind you, I ate dinner at like 4.30, 5 o'clock-ish. phone bill can wait till my next payday. I haven't had an email yet, so it's not ready. BT will always email me saying, your bill is ready to view online. Click here to view your bill. <coughs> Probably feeling it'll be a two fan job in the bed tonight as well. And the problem is, this is a leather chair, and I'm topless, so when I do this, I sort of peel myself off the chair. I'll just go pour a fresh drink. The flat is warm when I come out from under, or come out from the fan, but. It's not unbearable tonight. It was actually a lot warmer last night. Bring that trash can line back in here. The bin. I don't know why we call it a bin. I wonder where that name came from originally. Your Americans have got it right, you call it a trash can or a garbage can, because that's what you call this, you know, garbage or trash. So that makes logical sense to call it a trash can or a garbage can. Not in Britain. We call it a rubbish bin. We call that rubbish. I have heard the term or the word garbage used over here, but rubbish is the common term. Or shit. <laughs> if you want to get ri uh, really into layman's terms, we just call it shit. Well, that usually refers to just general junk, like when you clean out a garage or something. You might hear something in Britain, so I've got to have a I've got to clean up all the shit in the kitchen or something. That's just basically what it refers to, just general rubbish. I've got too much. I shouldn't think that bread's going to be any good. It's sitting there in this heat. It'll turn rather quickly. Oh. My lights have fell over. And those lights I'm actually going to take down. I keep forgetting to bring them through, but I'm going to take them down and uh, take the man, take the batteries out, take the batteries out and charge them. Oh dear. else to talk about now. So I've got my Schwinn to do. That, I've got a funny feeling there's going to be a definite keeper when I'm done. I'll have a look at Wilco to see how much a pair of um, grip shifts will set me back. I think I was like 12, maybe 15 pounds. I might grab a pair. Then all I have to worry about is a brake cable and uh, digging in the cupboard for a crank. And I've got some nice ones kicking around in there somewhere. Oh yeah, I've got to change the bar on this as well. I'll probably end up having to spray up one of the other ones in the bedroom. Are they in the bedroom? Or did I bring them in here? I think. That, no, I think. I can't remember. Uh. 
They're not in here, so they must still be in the bedroom. Take off the brick chips over there. There yeah, shit, I'm not going to do a decent bike up with just shitty looking grip shifts. What I'll do is an emergency spare if I need to replace one in a hurry or something. <coughs> now someone comes to me and says, I need a grip shift on me bike, don't care what it is, I just want it to work. And I can just grab one of them and throw it on. You get people like that, you know. Don't care what it looks like, I just want it to work. That yellow mountain bike would be ideal for someone like that, because it works. It's just got a really horrible colour scheme. Uh, don't get me wrong, the violet colour is actually nice. It just doesn't work with that bike. It doesn't work with yellow. It's a bit girly. It's a boy's bike, but it's a bit of a girly colour, in my opinion. Okay, yeah. Hopefully, if I feel it well... I'll get this lounge sorted. So I'll probably go into town and before I get something to eat. I'll do the rounds, as I call it, around all my favourite shops and whatnot. Grab something to eat, come back, eat it, sort this lounge out, make a bit of room. I'll probably throw the screen in the bedroom for the time being. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to go different with this mountain bike. Possibly. I was going to go road or hybrid tyres. So I've got a pair out on the landing for this. I'm not sure I will now. I might save the hybrid tyres for the um, other mountain bike. That's the best thing about the replacement wheels for that yellow bike. Good tyres holding air, all I've got to do is bolt the buggers in. <laughs> Dumb. Just run some steel wool over the wheels, because there's some light surface rust on them. Nothing that some steel wool wouldn't take off. Oh yeah, I am going to need to take the black paint with me, because I've got to paint up the um, cantilever brakes. They're black. Oh grey because they've faded and uh, chipped. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here, I think. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow, it'll be a bit more interesting because I'll have a load of junk to uh, sift through when I come back from town. May even be some records because I'm going to go into the break charity shop and go into their book basement because in their basement there's um that's where they have all the CDs, DVDs and they do have some records and LPs and whatnot. So if there's any there that is sort of my taste in music I'm not gonna just look for anything, it's got to be my sort of taste in music, preferably eighties, I think that's what I'd want. More than anything. Maybe some from the seventies. It would be great if we could actually find some from the 90s. <laughs> don't know if they were still making records in the 90s. I don't know when they um, stopped. <laughs> Pardon me. Anyway, I'm going to quit the rambling and I'm going to disappear for the night. Uh, so yeah, that's my plans for tomorrow. I'll bring that yellow bike up here. If I don't do that tomorrow, it'll get done Friday, so I can take it to Mum's Sunday and spray it up. Hopefully it'll be dry by sort of 8.30 tomorrow night, so I can bring it home and assemble it Monday. So I'm going to need to keep some cash back, because I am going to need some cables. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Should we have a bet? Should we say round about lunchtime? Round about 12? Yeah, probably about 12. Anyway, bye.